Hi everybody, welcome and thanks for tuning in on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dynamix System Temp Plugin. For those of you new to Unraid, you may see on a fresh install that you don't have any temperatures set for the processor or the motherboard. What I've got here specifically is an HP small form factor computer that uh, has an Intel Core i7 CPU. I'm currently using it for running a Docker container called Unmanic by Josh5. It's a great simple uh, media compressor that I use for my Plex library and this test unit that I have right here pretty much stays pegged out all the time 24-7 crunching on those media files and so I want to know how hot my CPU is getting and what my motherboard temperature is. So I'm assuming that you've already got community applications installed. So let's go on and take a look on the apps tab. And we're gonna search for temp. I'm just gonna type T-E-M-P. And there you can see it right there, the third option. So bottom left, hit the install plugin. Let that run for a second, it shouldn't take too long. Then hit done. Now we're gonna hit the gear icon and available drivers for first time installs it's going to ask you to click to detect now because i've had this previously installed i've got these preloaded options in my browser history right here so the universal mostly universal uh, thing to enter in this box right here is core temp if you hit click to detect it may automatically populate for you so right now i'm going to go ahead and hit core temp and then I'm going to hit detect. Okay, let's hit save. All right, now down here, we can see that it gives us some options. Um, so uh, this is not my CPU temperature. This is a previously uh, filled filled value here that uh, is not accurate. So just disregard that. You shouldn't see that on yours. What you want to do is look for this core temperature package ID. That's going to give you um, the core temp for your CPU. And that's what we're going to use for our processor uh, temperature there. Uh, the main board temperature, I'm going to go ahead and run that with my CPU temp. Uh, just to err on the side of caution. Um, this is a small PC. I don't have an array fan speed at present. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply there. And then we can hit, and you can see you see what I'm talking about. Now it says main motherboard, main board temperature. Now that's filled in there. Uh, and same for this core temp. That's also been filled in. So now it says CPU temp. It's just reflecting the values from that left side there. Um, so for those of you who may be running um, a, a different CPU, um, like an AMD or a different brand of the um, Intel drivers, maybe you're, you've got a Xeon or something like that. Uh, you can try one of these other values that I had in here. Uh, you may see IT87. The K10 temp works for a lot of the AMD processors. So uh, feel free to try typing these in. If the core temp doesn't load any of the drivers that you need for your system, try, one, try typing in some of these other ones and then see if it will detect any drivers for your system there. Um, but now that we've got this done, another thing that we need to talk about is for fresh installs, you may get an error right here that says uh, Perl not installed, P-E-R-L, Perl. Uh, un uh, Space Invader 1 goes over this um, briefly in some of his videos. And what you need to do is go back to your apps tab and install the Nerd Pack plugin. So let's just type in nerd. We can see it there. Obviously, I've already got it installed, but on your your screen, if you don't have this, um, hit that arrow, install the plugin, let it run for a second, and then hit the gear icon, and it'll bring you up to this page right here. Now you can see I've already typed in Perl, but you should be greeted with a screen that's got a list of long plugins like this. It, it'll have uh, you know Python, pip, screen. Uh, bunch of different things that at some point you may realize that you need um, but just to make it easy I'm gonna go ahead and search for Perl you can see it's already up to date it's installed there's a, a button right here that you can turn this on and off with so go ahead and hit on uh, hit apply and obviously I still have this installed on my system but let this run on yours hit done and then hit done again 
So now you can go to your settings. And for those of you who just installed Perl fresh, go to your system temp and run through this again. Um, type in core temp or IT87 or K10 temp and uh, see exactly what works best for you. So let's hit done. Now you can see down here on the bottom right, there's my CPU temperature right here, 151 degrees. There's my motherboard, main board, 86 degrees there. What's really cool is if I go back to my dashboard now, then I've got this temperature settings on my screen. There's my temperature right there, 153, kind of hot. <laughs> and there's uh, temperature is 86 degrees on the motherboard. Now I know what a lot of you are probably gonna be thinking, holy cow, he's got that thing maxed out at 150 degrees. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, this computer, that's what it's for. That's what I'm using it for. Um, at some point I'll upgrade and I need to get a, a GPU that to really start crunching away on those uh, media files. But for now, this is what I've got and this is what I'm using. So uh, it's kind of a purpose built system here. It's a test server. It's, it's uh, you know, my third uh, Unraid server here that I just kind of use to, to trial and error with things. So at the moment, that's what I've got this designated for. I know a lot of you who are running daily drivers, you may not want to do this on your system, but at least it'll be nice to know if you've got a problem, if you've got a fan going out or whatever, you're going to have that there. So hopefully uh, this has helped some of you guys. I appreciate the watch and whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, as Space Invader says, I hope it's good. Thanks for stopping by.